the Prince and Princess of Wales are being denied a royal family tradition in their new roles. Unlike his father King Charles, Prince William will not receive his own Wales investiture as the tradition has been unceremoniously done away with, a royal commentator has claimed. Following Charles' accession to the throne, his eldest son and heir to the throne, William became the Prince of Wales, and his wife Kate, the Princess of Wales. But Kensington Palace previously said an investiture is not on the table. Royal commentator Daniela Elzer said the most obvious reason to pull the plug on an investiture is Dosh. She said this would see the pair not get one of the biggest perks of their new positions. The royal family faces backlash over the king's coronation after it cost an estimated £100 million during a cost of living crisis. Writing for news.com.au Ms. Elzer added, it's easy to understand why the Waleses might have no interest in going down the investiture route and it has nothing to do with the prospect of spending time in Cardiff or learning to love a pasty. The point is here, investitures are not something one can do on the cheap, therefore, if William and Kate did decide they wanted their own, it would require someone spending tens of millions of dollars on something that would be nothing but a blatant marketing ploy. She continued, not only will William not get the chance to do some king-in-waiting play-acting for TV cameras at his own Wales investiture but it means that his wife Kate, the Princess of Wales has been denied the chance to get Alexander McQueen to design her up another Athena-esque, goddess-like get-up. The Prince's decision not to have an investiture could be just the first step in Williams's plans to break from royal tradition. It has been widely reported that William is already thinking about his coronation and wanting to be more modern and relevant than that of his father's. A source close to William told The Times, he is really thinking, how do we make his coronation feel most relevant in the future? He is mindful of the fact that in 20 years time, or whenever his time comes, how can the coronation be modern but also unifying to the nation and the Commonwealth? I think his coronation will look and feel quite different. They added, you can see it in how he has taken having an investiture off the table, and his thinking on how to leave a legacy in communities rather than just going in, to, do ribbon cutting. Reports suggest William would want away with the homage of the people taken in King Charles' ceremony where members of the congregation and the public were invited to swear their allegiance to the king. The source claimed there is no way William will go down that route or anything like it. Speaking with the BBC to mark Queen Elizabeth's 90th birthday in 2016, William admitted he was preoccupied with how to modernise the monarchy but added, I certainly don't lie awake at night waiting or hoping. He said, it occupies a lot of my thinking space as to how on earth you'd develop into something modern in today's world. I think the royal family has to modernize and develop as it goes along, and it has to stay relevant. That's the challenge for me, how do I make the royal family relevant in the next 20 years time? Don't miss! The real reason Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are still popular in America, William and Kate's new PR strategy shows commitment, Meghan Markle will lose glamour at gala by wearing show-stopping gown, Charles was just 20 when he was crowned Prince of Wales at the investiture ceremony at Carnarvon Castle. Around 4,000 guests attended the ceremony with a further 500 million watching around the world as Queen Elizabeth presented him with the symbols that marked him as Prince of Wales, the sword, coronet, ring, rod and mantle. However, the occasion received some backlash as many felt that the title was long past its sell-by date. Protesters lined the streets of Wales holding signs that read Charlie Go Home, just two hours before the ceremony, 
two men set out to plant a bomb near a railway line, which was carrying the prince. Both men Alwyn Jones, 22, and George Taylor, 37, dubbed the Abergelly Martyrs, died when the bomb went off prematurely. Melting